guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this sun-kissed glowy copper look. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Today I'm going to be starting out with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I usually start out in the middle. Once I have less product on my brush, I go in to do that line. After I do that line, I work in the middle again, and then I go for the arch. I kind of try to make it a little thicker right here, and then I fill it in after. I'm just going to be darkening the middle. And then going in for that line. So with my concealer, I'm just going to be taking on a flat concealer brush. I'm going to be focusing it right under my brow to try and make a defined line. And then we're going to be blending it out. So at first, you want to put pressure more towards the point of your brush then you can slide it to the side to clean it up and I always have redness right here so I always work the rest through the middle A lot of people don't clean up the top, but I like to sometimes. If you're going for more of individual hairs right here, then you're going to want to avoid putting concealer close to that area. I also have this brow powder. It's the Jordana Brow Powder Duo. I think I'm going to be going in with the lighter color first. I'm then going to be going in with a darker shade for my arch. I'm going to be priming my face with the coconut water stick from Hard Candy again. It actually leaves your skin kind of tacky. Just kind of like it's going to make your makeup stick. Next, I'm going to be taking the Fiona Styles Luminous Foundation in the shade 4. And I'm just going to be taking that on my beauty blender. Then I'm going to be taking the Photo Focus by Wet n Wild in the shade Light Ivory. I'm just going to set where we highlighted. Then we're going to be going in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I will try to mainly use this brush that comes with the palette. And first I'm going to be going in with the Raw Sienna at the end. I'm going to be going in just over the crease. I'm then going to go in with this shade Real Gar. 
you want to focus this really on the end of the brush so not really mixing too much and with this we're going to be focusing it on the very outer corner and then very lightly you want to kind of lift your hand to focus it in that crease And then we're just going to be blending it up higher. The next shade we're going to be using is this burnt orange next to raw sienna. And we're just going to be kind of going over the real gar, but more mainly just on the outer corner this time. When I go in with the darker shade, I kind of always pat instead of going in circular motion first. It gets that color in evenly without having to blend it yet. Right over the burnt orange, we're going to be using the warm taupe just to make things a little bit darker. And then... With the same brush, we're going to be gently, very gently, blending that in. I think that I want to go in with the golden ochre just on my lid because I don't want to do a shimmer today. So we're just going to be blending this in a crease and this is a very subtle color so you won't have to worry much about blending that into the crease like you, you won't have to worry about having to add colors to blend that in too much. I think I'm just going to be applying eyeliner on my lid. So with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, I'm just going to be taking that So really quick, I put on these fake lashes and I actually really like them. They were super, super easy to put on. Like, usually I have to wait, blow a little while. These, like, smacked on and they stayed. This is the Kiss Lash Couture Fake Mink Collection. I highly recommend these if you are not good at applying fake lashes. Uh, it has a really thin band line, which is one of the reasons why I thought that it wouldn't be easy to apply because I like the thicker bands, but it was actually super, super easy. So if you're not that great at applying fake lashes, then I highly recommend these. So before I apply a coat of mascara, I'm going to be going in with the Essence Eyeliner in the shade 1 Black Fever. You can get this from Ulta. This is that's where I saw it. I think they might sell some essence brand at Target. I'm not sure if they sell it at Walmart. So we're just gonna be tight lining our lid. Going in with the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. Then I'm going to be going in with my NYX bronzer, of course, in the shade 
deep tan. With the Bella Pierre. Did you guys see my nails? Super cute. Then with the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Contour and Highlight Palette, we're just going to be taking these two shades and mixing that. With this color Real Gar, I'm going to be taking it on the M508 and you could do this with the Anastasia brush. I just don't know where it is right now, so I'm just going to be doing this. I'm going to be taking the Golden Ochre which is the color we put on our on our lid. I'm just going to be taking that in the inner corner of our lower lid. Of our lower... What do you call that? Lower eyelid? In the inner corner. Of course, I'm going to be using the Tarte Blush in the shade Party. Then, with our R36, I think I'm going to go in with the Gilded Honey, the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Just going to be swirling that I don't know where my other tiny little brush is, so I'm going to be taking the M321 and I'm just going to be highlighting my inner corner. You guys, I'm so excited for this next part. You guys, drum roll please. Look, I bought this yesterday. The Ciate London in O oh Honey. This color is so pretty. I was looking for a more orangey brown warm tone for matte liquid lipstick. And I couldn't really couldn't find any, which is so surprising because I feel like a lot of girls have that color. So this is the closest I found. And they are cruelty free now because they used to not be. Now I'm going to be applying this on my lips. So the last thing I'm going to be using is this Bite Beauty Champagne Pearl Prismatic Pearl Creme Lip Gloss. This company is also cruelty free. Look how beautiful. So pretty. I swatched these on my hand yesterday at Sephora and I couldn't believe how shimmery and like Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, look. I am not a lip gloss girl at all. I am more of a matte liquid lipstick, but I could not pass up these colors. Oh my god, it's so sparkly. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this cute golden coppery sun-touched look. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and like my channel.